Hello, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Let me put my years of game playing, event organizing, and game night hosting to use for you. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in the box? What I've got here is a copy of Burning Suns, uh, which I would say hot off Kickstarter, but this isn't a new one. I've had this one, sadly, in my pile of shame for a long time. I just haven't had a chance to get around to it. This is a successfully kickstarted 4X sci-fi board game uh, from Sun Tzu Games. Uh, when this was kickstarted, their goal at the time was to be the next Twilight Imperium, to be the next uh, Eclipse, the next big sci-fi 4X game. Now, one of the things I do want to show off right away, which is one reason I think many people haven't heard of this game. For one, this game is ridiculously heavy. I don't have a scale here. But like that, there's a significant thump when you drop this box. I'm having a hard time holding it with one hand. But what you will note, I'm going to cut the shrink off quick because that's going to be the easiest way to show this. Is I don't think anyone who sees this game on a store shelf would pick it up. Besides the rather cool box art, there is literally no information on this box whatsoever to tell you anything about the game at all. Like that is probably the worst designed box back I have ever seen in my entire life. So note the publishers, don't do this. This does not sell your game. I don't know what any of the components look like or anything. So what is on here that it plays is 14 plus, plays two to five players and 40 minutes per player. There is also a choking hazard due to small pieces. That's it. So I'm as curious as I think everyone else out there is to know what's in this box. Cause I don't know, cause there's no clue, no idea here. All right, so let's dig in and see what actually comes in a copy of Burning Sun. Kind of get that a little flatter. And this will either be our hottest YouTube video ever or our least popular because no one's heard of it. Wow, look at all the plastic. That's kind of impressive, to be honest. I got to admit, that is impressive. Look at all that. Holy cow. That uh, is a ton of plastic and little dice. Wow, that is a, a impressively produced, I gotta say, if nothing else. Look at all this, holy cow. Little micro D8s. All right, let's start taking a look at what we got. I have to assume this is some kind of ship. It's got pegs on top. I don't know if this pegs in. I don't even know which way's up. So bright yellow. Let's see if this helps. Yellow ship with a rather unique shape and some pegs on top. Um, let's see if I move this back. We're going to put yellow ship here. Yeah, it is very much like everything was just tossed in the box and closed. So here's another. This is probably what the game would look like if I wasn't unboxing it. Another large ship. So one of the features of this game, supposedly, is that you put dice right into the ships. So I don't know if this holds a D8. This doesn't look like it holds a D8. So I'm not sure what die goes in there. But here's another example of a little tripod looking piece that very definitely holds this D4. So I actually thought that concept was really cool, is to have these miniatures that hold dice. Um, does a D6 fit in here? No. So I don't know what size die goes in this ship. Uh, the D6 obviously goes on this then. So we have some kind of pagoda thing and you would put your D6 in it. So we'll hold that up. Component quality solid. Like these are, these are, like that's a solid chunk of plastic. There's nothing rubbery there. So the D8, I'm not sure. We got a whole bunch more ships. I'm just going to stick with the yellow pieces just because they were the first ones I grabbed. Are these all the same? Yes. So we have some other type of sci-fi looking ship. Then we have, looks like minis, characters. Odd size, odd scale. I would love to know what fits in that one gotta be the d8 but what am i missing here that this doesn't want to there it goes all right i got it it does fit in there 
I was just failing at figuring out what angle it goes in. So there we go. And we got some kind of fighters type looking ships. Uh, looks like that side up. I'm running a bit of access and allies just with a number of different ships. All right, that's it for yellow. So what do we have when we go to green? Interestingly enough, the ships are all 100% unique. They're completely different looking here. So when we go to green, I'm going to guess the large ship is some type of capital ship. Oh, they've got the type of baggies that often rip at the top. And that's what just happened. So I'm going to do green. So again, we have this like massive capital ship looking thing, which should fit a D8. So we're going to give that a six. Yep, yeah, fits in there good now that I know how to get it to fit with the point up. We got some kind of square, very different triangle holding thingy. <laughs> Again, I don't know what these are in the game, but yeah, D4 fits in the top of that. Fits nice, like it's nice and snug. And then whatever the D6 thing is, there's the D6 in there. And then we have totally different boats, looking tall, long, so a completely unique shape. Look to the other one. So this is upside down. That should be that way. That should be that way. Got smaller ships. That looks like something out of, um, oh, what is that anime called? Battle of the Planets. And then we have the miniature, which again is unique. With actually a different base shape too. So there's green. Do we want to, okay, the red and the purple are ridiculously close in color. I actually thought I only had two colors left in here. But the red and the purple are very, very close in color. That's a little disappointing. Like I'm having a hard time telling them apart here. We also have a bunch of D8s, little tiny D8s. Is it worth going through all of these to show them off? I don't think I will. I will just point out that they are completely unique miniatures for each of the factions, each of the flare factions. So we also have red, which has some tall standing guys. Um, here's red's capital ship and D6 holder and whatever. That's red's capitals. Then red's large ships. Red's fighters. Look kind of like manta rays. I'm going to pull one of those out just because they're hard to see. Kind of manta ray looking. Then red, smaller ships, gunboats, whatever they happen to be. And that's it for red. Then we have purple, which are really spindly looking demon aliens. Uh, purple's big chunky ships. Here's purple's capital ship, D6 holder. Try to get this with less glare. Not going to happen. Purple's fighters. And then purple's medium. Oh, I missed green's fighters. I didn't pull out green's fighters. Here's green's fighters. I like the look of these. Nice detailed minis. They could all use a wash. That is a cool looking ship. All right, then there's blue. Blue's a little hard to see. We got blue's fighters. Blue's big ships. Blue's capital ship, which is like a giant long spike. Kind of cool looking. Uh, blue's minis, which are more really spindly looking aliens. And blue's medium ships. So there we go. Uh, we have a bunch of standees. Who knows? Plastic standees. What's interesting is they're different than you usually see with board games. They're not the, the same. I'm going to keep those out and if, if I see what to put in. They got a nice little square shape. Then we have a double pack of cards. Which I'm going to put that aside just for a second because I really want to check out this rule book. And holy cow. All right. We're going to open this up. I'm going to pull the instructions out for a second and I'm going to put them aside. So you can see this. Look at the amount of punch boards here, okay? Look at this. Back. Look at that. That is a lot of cardboard. A lot of cardboard. So I'm going to want to put these back in the box first. So we're going to go through these punch boards quickly and see what we get. 
Wow, so much stuff. All right, let's take a look. We have, well, two-sided. You can tell how well everything's cut. It's all fallen out here. Yeah, they're labeled on the back. That's really cool. Empire Part 2 Framework, Empire Part 2 Race, Empire Part 1 Ideology, Action Sheet. So it looks like you can mix and match these various Empire things. Oh, wow, so you actually have like the temp temp Terrans of Chaos. That's actually pretty cool. So greens are Terrans. I dig this already. Just because you have the Merchant Terrans of Chaos. That sounds about right, doesn't it? The Merchant Terrans of Chaos. I think that's what we actually are. Okay, I dig that. Look at this. The stuff just falling off. I'm not complaining. That's a good thing. Things falling off punch boards means uh, very easy to punch. Oh, yeah. We're going to throw that back in. I don't know how well this is all going to go back in this box. It's going to be a mess. I just lost the kit. Let me grab that before I lose it. So Merchant Terrans of Conquest. Um, then there's an action sheet. I love the fact that you get to mix and match the, uh, the races. That's actually really cool. All right, so here we have Imperial Templars of the Eclipse, which again, I'm pretty sure you can mix and match those. And a ton more tokens. Then we have the United Cyborgs of Eternity, which I can't even hold up without it coming apart here. Then the Crusading Leviathans of the Ninth Dimension. There's a nice rule summary, a player aid. So round phases, status phase, reshuffling phase, planning phase, action phase. Uh, win a battle against a fleet to, with four or more units. I don't know. Passive abilities are always active. Dreadnoughts, fleet. This doesn't look overly complicated. I don't recognize the ships from that fleet, what color that is, but... And again, just everything is just popping out here. The Psionic Insectoids of the Twilight Sun. Wow, there are a lot of factions in this game. Then we have the Assassin Wraiths of Nova. With boards just popping out here, it's going to not fit back in here well. We're almost through the first set. Wow, this is nuts. Oh, geez, everything's punching. Uh, Avenging Changelings of the Outer Rim. Okay, on top works better. Nomadic Guardians of the Void. See, those are definitely the yellow pieces we saw. So it doesn't look like, I don't, didn't see all these factions. So it doesn't look like we have minis for all these factions. You must have the sub minis. My guess is probably if you back the Kickstarter, you might have got minis for all these. Um, exiled Arachnidians of the Fading Stars. And my God, I got a mess going on here. All right, I got stuff caught on other stuff here. And it's meaning that I can't actually put the stuff in flat at all. Patron Neomorphs of the Rift. Oh, and a blank. All right, this is crazy. Are these more? No, okay. Now we get to other stuff. So that was like all races and player boards, and it is never going to fit back in this box until I punch it. All right, so these look like your planets and stuff. So we have more punch boards with a bunch of planets on them. These are a little bit thicker feels like so we have planets it looks like they generate possibly two different resources i admit this does not look bad at all in any way for for some random game that came up on kickstarter looks like these might go between the planets i know the designer was really excited about it when it came out oh yeah and again stuff's just falling out here as i slide these over all right, know what's important to note. Are these two-sided? Okay, they are. 
So it looks like these are probably randomized in some way. So everything's two-sided boards. Extremely well cut, like everything's falling out. Art works cool for what it is, like it all works. This looks interesting. I, I am definitely more interested in checking out this game now that I've seen what's inside. I'm never gonna get all this back in until I punch it, unfortunately. All right, so we're gonna toss all these back in, all these minis. I'm just gonna toss them in loose. The way the dice sit in the thing is cool. Like that, that's definitely a neat feature. I don't know exactly what it does gameplay wise, but that whole sit your die in the mini is a nice touch. So five different colors, but more factions than there are colors. So it looks like you may, kind of like Twilight Imperium, you use whatever's available because there aren't miniatures for every faction in the game. I still don't know what the bases are for, so I don't I don't want to try to put that base on anything. I toss all of this back in. And yes, this is what it looked like when we opened it, which is a little disappointing, but you know what? Nothing looked damaged. Toss all of this back in. It's all going to fit, except these cards probably won't, which I still want to open. So, All right, we're going to get this out of the way. Let's take a look at this rule book and see how bad this looks. How how bad, that sounds negative. How how intimidating it looks, because that, not a thin book. Um, tips, terms, tips, and rule disputes. That's interesting. Rule disputes. Nine Shore 4X Games makes it difficult to call over all possible corners. Uh, there is, oh, weird. There's a QR code, but it's just a board game geek. All right, Sun Tzu Games. It is a Miller since we got all color art. Again, find novels and stories at sunsugames.com. A couple more QR codes. I'm looking for a learn the game. Sun Tzu Facebook's Burning Suns game. Artwork's definitely cool. I have heard nothing about this game. Like, I, wow, interesting setups. Really interesting setups for different player counts. Huh. And then the players have their own area. We haven't even seen the cards yet. Lots and lots of art here. Really showing stuff off. Empire parts, looters, control markers, and home systems. Lots of great examples. Showing off all the miniatures. And you do, of course, randomize the three things. Which is, was pretty predictable. Looks like a solid rule book. Tons of examples, which is always good to see. I don't know what's up with these diamond things that you put between. Text is nice and large. No, oh, this looks looks rather fascinating. All right, we're gonna speed up. Just showing off some of the cards, obviously. For the various ship types. All right, that's the rule book. Won't know till I read it how bad it is, but nothing visually wrong with it. Everything nice, well spaced out. Shots of the actual gameplay pieces, which is always a bonus, not just um, CG. And finally, we have two packs of cards here. Interestingly, the way it's packed. So we're going to go through the back first. So we have a bunch of artifacts. Oh, no, these are mixed. Okay, mixed cards. Artifacts, agents, more artifacts, more agents. Uh, these are not slippery. They've got a kind of odd texture to them. It's not linen. They're just, they're slight, very matte and um, a slight texture to them. More agents. More artifacts. We'll take a look at what these look like in a minute. Agents, artifacts, agents, artifacts. All right, I don't know what these are. These all say Alliance on them. They're two-sided? No, yeah, they're two-sided, so I don't know what those are. More Alliances. Wow, there's a lot of these Alliance cards. Holy cow. Okay, the rest of these are all Alliance cards. So there are three different types of cards. 
We'll take a look at each stack in a second. So we have artifacts. Nice full color art. I'm impressed by that. Card text at the bottom. I don't know what it means. It's got three different resource symbols. It says antimatter X. Uh, FTL deployment pods. Deploy X regiments on a controlled hostile system. Start assault action there. I dig the artwork. Artwork's really nice. Text is a little small, but not terrible. It reminds me of any collectible card game style card. There's obviously, I don't know if it's three different resources required to use these cards, but they show three different resources on them. I'm mean, just going to grab a couple more random ones here. I do like the art. They're easy to read. So those are the artifacts. Agents. Obviously people that will be working for you. Uh, these look very similar. They have different symbols. Assault, one reroll, do two damage to a Colossus. I have to assume that's probably that big style of ship. So these are a little darker. Let's see if I can up the brightness a bit here and help out, or if it's just going to glare. There we go. There we go. That's really showing off the cards. That reminds me of something from uh, Wing Commander. Again, artwork's solid. For a game no one's ever talked about. I've heard nothing about this game. I'm really impressed by what I'm seeing so far. And then we have the final deck of cards, which all say Alliance on one side. Again, nice looking artwork. This one says Diplomacy plus two to distance, Barrage cancel two hits. That's the Peace Alliance. The Tech Alliance says Jump plus two distance, Scan plus two crystals. So a bunch of Alliance cards. I'll tip these up just a little bit to get some light. Again, artwork's really nice. Card quality, solid, nice thickness. And then the other sides of these say like special abilities. This says swarming. This on the other side says particle blink. So there's obviously something else with the alliances. Merging elements and so on. Huge deck of these. Two-sided cards. So there you have everything that comes in Burning Suns. Which, man, did it look like a mess when we first opened it. But there is a ton of cardboard in this box. We're going to toss these in here. I might even be able to shut it the way it was. A ton of stuff. That's kind of what it looks like when you get it. To be honest, I have no idea if anyone out there can even get a copy of this. I didn't look it up on Amazon or anything like that. So there you have it. That is what you get in Burning Suns from Sun Tzu Games. Uh, a game that you would probably never heard of. And a game I would never pick up at a store because of this back. There's absolutely nothing in here showing off all that cool stuff that was in that box. Especially with the number of miniatures that were in there. I don't understand. Like, show that stuff off. There was a pile of stuff in here. The amount of cardboard. I am duly impressed by what I saw in that box, actually. For, for something I had no idea what to expect. Uh, miniatures look good. The fact you put dice in some of them was really cool. The fact that all five player armies had 100% unique ships. There was no duplication. We got a bunch of cards, rule book, lots of color examples. Didn't look overly complicated, but I haven't read it, so I don't know. I don't know how the gameplay is. But I am extremely impressed by what this looks like inside. And just baffled by the fact that they don't show you that anywhere. Very odd. Very unique choice there, Sun Tzu Games. So that was Burning Suns by Sun Tzu Games. I am Mo Tuzno, the tabletop bellhop. You are Cardboard Concierge. You can find my content all over the internet. Uh, sorry, you can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Twitter, Facebook, MeWe, social media, Instagram, Pinterest, all those places. Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can find my content at TabletopBellhop.com, where you'll find news, uh, not news really, reviews, uh, discussions of games, unboxing videos like this, actual play videos, and lots of other cool gaming content. We play with everything tabletop, that's board games, role-playing, miniature gaming, etc. If you just play it at a table with your friends, we cover it. Uh, you can catch the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast recorded live on Twitch every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And you can watch your podcasters for the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Uh, one last thing, if you do dig this video and you like the content we're providing, it'd be awesome if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping the bellhop. That's it for today and this unboxing video. Thank you for watching. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.